So guys, I just want to say once again a big thank you for sticking with me through this process. I do apologise, it has literally been two months since I've got any sort of decent meat content and I know you guys come to my channel for meat content and for that sort of thing and I haven't delivered so I do apologise. There's a guy in Yaris maybe about to come and run over the camera, but a bit strangely. <laughs> but I do apologise for that. I just wanted to say that things are going to become to turn around or are going to begin to turn around through October and I'm going to have the funds for to go out and travel. Now, the reason why I'm leaning on the Odyssey it's probably one of the only reliable things in my life at the moment, obviously. Um, but the reason why I'm leaning on it is, is this car is now going to be your great opportunity. So I think towards the end of October and onwards, at least once a month, um, I'm going to be travelling all over the southwest to one the big event a month. So we're talking like, for, for this area anyway, for me, we're talking sort of as far over as Exeter, um, London, Southampton, Portsmouth. They're more in reach, which they never normally were when I was back in Bristol. So what I'm trying to say, in short, is everyone is welcome to join me on these. I'll advertise them way in advance. And what this basically means is if you come along with me, A, you haven't got to drive, B, you can drink, E, whatever you want to do. No naughty stuff in the back of the car. That's prohibited unless I'm involved. <laughs> Only joking. But basically, what it is, is we'll be going to one event and it will all be organised through me, through the clubs. So clubs always invite me to go to their events with a megaphone, have a laugh, etc, etc. Get video. So basically, you're going to get to the meets. It's going to be smooth running. You're going to get to every location first. It's just going to be a really chill but decent vibe. And all it's going to cost you is £20 a person. That's A, to put fuel in my tank to be able to help me get there with the additional weight. Sorry, I'm not really fat, but you know what this car's like. It's also not the best on fuel, but it's also not that bad. So it's just to help cover the cost, but for the price of £20 for your person to be able to be driven around all night to a new city to experience something new and to enjoy an event, what else can I say? So jump on in, we've got seven, well, in fact we'll have five seats, not seven, maybe six, depends who's coming and who's going. And they're all very comfortable. There are lots of things going on, and there will be a few more videos so if you want to really see the ins and outs of this car. I've got some more videos coming very soon for the Odyssey, anyway. But that is also the last little message to take on. The things are going to get better. It's going to look like what the hell's going on. And secondly, um, you guys will be welcome to join me in the Beast to get some events on the go. Um, I do need to fix the radio, which is why I'm still wearing headphones. Really disastrous. Um, it's still being part-time at the moment, but once I've got the radio sorted, I've actually got some machines on, you know, cruising through the centre of the city with these old JDM vibes together, with a megaphone in the car, which is probably going to be a bit dangerous. It sounds like a really fun night. So that is my opportunity to you guys. It's £20 a person. You've got to bear in mind that includes me paying £20 and including the front passenger that I'll be going with as well. So everyone's paying equally, and, and you know, sometimes it'll probably work out that Everyone pays 20, and I end up paying the remainder for the fuel. It's not at all to make money. Um, and quite frankly, it's probably going to work out that it never will make any money. But it's just as a contribution to help get there. Because I still go to these London meets where it's just me and one person, me and three people, me and seven. I don't mind. But it's just an opportunity for you guys to come along and enjoy something decent without having to take your car there, drive and park, and all of that crap. So I'll have to stick on this lad's car. He's blissfully unaware right now because he's over there fishing. Um, but he had a good chat. He likes his Hondas, like the Honda, so I thought give him a sticker so we can follow the progress um, and keep in contact, especially if he's down here and likes his cars. There's always something going on, so they're over there fishing. I have no idea, but your car is in this video, and it was nice to have a chat. So, hello guys, and welcome to this week's weekly update. So, just to say, this is the only weekly update now for the next two weeks. I haven't really got a lot going on next week, so I thought I wouldn't really waste your time and let you listen to me blabber fairly pointlessly next week because there's not a lot on. So we here are in front of no fort. You can probably maybe just see it in the background. Um, I couldn't really find anywhere decent to go to today. There's a cycling event on this weekend, so there's a lot of prep and things closed for that reason. Um, and there just wasn't really much parking as it's still sort of coming to the end of the season where people come down and visit holiday, etc. etc. So we're here and this is where we are. Now there's not too much to update you about. Um, last weekend, I went to two meets. One was in the morning, didn't get any footage. It was just a small little catch up with friends. So I sort of prioritised chatting to friends than videoing. But um, in the evening, I went up to Portland, which is over that way somewhere. And indeed, I gathered some great footage of actually some really fundamentally cool cars. Very, very different. So I've got, you know, probably a tiny little video coming up of that soon. Um, I'll put a little photo sort of here where my car is um, of the three JDM buses we had there. Two that had seven seats and one that had eight, so that was pretty mad. 
Um, but that is really all that happened at the weekend. Now, the Odyssey has found itself becoming very useful in this past week in the sense that I've been moving everything around in this. So obviously I moved my all my home back home in this. But also in the past week, I can tell you that the Odyssey has also moved the bed. Um, it has also <laughs> moved a, uh, a hutch for guinea pigs. We now have guinea pigs. Um, lovely, not my choice, but there we go. We've now got the guinea pigs, so it fit in there. Perfect. Um, I also went to the car boot sale, so I just had everything full of it. Well, completely full again. And then um, to finish off, what else have we had? There's something else as well. Yes, we've had a tumble dryer. Now, next week, <laughs> Uh, well, this week, in fact, not next week. This week, um, I am at some point this week going to be moving um, a wardrobe as well. So, the Odyssey's become a very practical. I mean, it is a practical car, but it's become a very practical asset at the moment. While I haven't got much going on um, now, what I can say to update you guys this week is, and what I'll update you again in that sort of two-week gap when I'm back on my update videos, is that this week I'm indeed uh, going to have two interviews. One for um, over on Portland, which is where I'm going to be doing um, or looking to do my apprenticeship, and then one for a job part time to sort of work those two together. Now, ideally, hopefully, if it all goes to plan, I will just be able to work and live off of the apprenticeship funding. But looking at how little it is in the first year, I might have to work two jobs. So that's happened on Wednesday, and then into the weekend, I think I'm well, not volunteering, it's paid for. Well, I guess it's a job, I don't really know. But I'm volunteering to help out at the actual cycling event, so I might do a video here and then. But I've just been keeping myself busy, trying to keep myself motivated, when, and really at the moment, I've not really got much to be excited about. But this week, like I said, I've got those two reviews, and I'm hoping to hopefully have some good news come through from that. I don't really know. Who really knows? But that is really the end for this week's update. Now, just quickly, pushing on to the end of the month, because that'll be the update on the week before. That's coming now. It's coming soon. In two weeks' time, um, Southwest Static Linkups, again here where the car is, um, are doing their first meet. I'm involved with that, um, and I'm excited for that. So that's basically just going to be uh, a place where everyone can come together and enjoy calm, static meet. I mean, you've got multiple options for all of your sort of Mexico stuff, and there's loads of clubs I can aim for Mexico, but there's not really anyone doing sort of larger scale, singular meets all over the Southwest one location a month so that is happening at the end of the month and that'll be in Dorset probably somewhere local to here and it's amazing for me because I can just turn up and I can get video of cars which is really all you guys want for this channel um, and it just makes things easier for everyone really so just just a place where you can come down meet friends have a static vibe and all those people that want to perform dangerous activities and do all that sort of stuff there's another place to do it but there so that's something to look forward to and again I'll put it in here again look somewhere here you to look at so go and follow them on facebook and on instagram um and that is really as far as my weekly update goes for you guys it's very short and sweet there's not a lot going on um things are looking good because there's sort of plans being put in place i'm just excited to be back out doing something again rather than being sat at home um so i can get some money in and i can start traveling hopefully sort of throughout october on to events now one fourth more thing to mention before i go is at the end of next month we have indeed got halloween coon so if you're interested message me personally the page again uh, details here <laughs> so go and jump on that and join us down for halloween action day and that is all i've got to say so i won't see you guys next week i'll see you the week after and i have still got well over five videos to come for you guys in the next sort of two weeks thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you guys in two weeks time